that today is September 28th, 2014 that I'm filming this video and I'm wearing my Detroit Tigers shirt in support of the team winning their division. Hey friends, welcome. Today's video, I'm going to show you how you read and study firewood before you go and split it so you're as, as effective as possible when you go to swing your ax or your maul so you're getting more split per time. So there's a lot of factors that are involved. So let me show you some of these. Check this All out. All right, there are so many different factors that have to do with firewood. Some could be like the cold when it's frozen, it may pop more. Sometimes when it's hot in the summertime, it just splits a little bit different. It depends on like the species of wood. For instance, this is green ash right here. And this is a very straight grain pattern. And pretty much no matter what you swing at that, it's gonna split open pretty well. But if you can cut it and let it go out in the sun a little bit, you can just see some natural crack patterns that are going on right there. So like you, you find that right there, that's one of the, the major cracks. You're going to want to swing your axe or your maul, try to hit that and make it pop open. It also has another, it's almost like a cross pattern. Hit that one right there. You try to go with the major crack and work that. And also if you get a real big piece, you don't want to like go right in the center with it. You want to work on the outsides and then work your way in. So let me show you another piece. That's pretty the next level of difficulty all right this is this is gonna be pretty heavy so you might hear me grunting as I'm lifting this up this is a pretty long piece I probably should have cut it so long it's like 19 inches of red oak so this hasn't been cut for very long so there's a lot of moisture in it it's very heavy and red oak by the way you should let cure for two years after you split it but <laughs> yeah this is heavy so if you look at this Here's the center of the growth rings. And right here it's highly compact on this side. Here the growth rings are spread way out. And you may have seen where I've hooked, hit it with a hookaroon. But right there, I got a natural crack going. And I'm gonna say my best bet is to hit right there, trying to split it open that way. And I can see it's kind of splitting right there off that ring. So I think if I hit that, it may pop this outer section off. That's been my experience and cutting firewood. So maybe I'll just go right to that and let's right, see what happens. So that area right there where I showed you is right there is where I want to hit. And I'm going to use, this is my go-to wood splitting maul. It's an Oxenkopf OX. It's a big ox, OX635 with a hickory handle. I just want to hit it right there nice and hard. Here we go. Oh. Didn't split it, but it, I got a nice big crack right there around the ring. It's kind of hard to see. Let me get a few more swings. Yeah. All right. Let's take a closer look and just see what happened. All right, there it is. Right here is where I swung and hit it. And it popped it off that center, real dense part right there. So this right here is pretty well ready to split. And my next line of defense is to go right there and split that right in half. That'll be the easiest way. So let's do that next. All right, right here is my target. I'll try not to swing too hard. It did split all the way down. I think I'll give it one more whack. There. Pretty much separated. All right. Now, since I got a big crack going around that circle, I'm just gonna keep working it. Watch this. Yep. See that ring going around? I'm gonna take it right there. See how close I can hit it. Take it right there. Take this piece out. Yeah, oak can be a little tough sometimes. 
keep breaking it down. Yeah, look at that one I'm contending with. You can just, I can really see the moisture in this piece right here. So when you have a limb that's coming off, that makes it quite difficult to split. All right, turn it upside down. Sometimes that helps a little bit, break it back the other way. All right. And let's see, if I can separate it from that round center core part. Hit it right there. Try to at least. There. All right. Here's the center core. This has some limbs coming off of it. Thinking about just keeping it, but I'd really like to see. What the big ox right here can do is right in the center. Ready? All right, here goes. Yeah. There. That'll help. That center part is very dense. That'll help dry right. it out. Here's a smaller piece of silver maple. And this doesn't require a big maul. But I can just see the way that this has been drying. So we can give you a closer look. I want to just try to follow that natural crack right there, that natural way of splitting it. So I'm going to go to my oxen cuff universal forestry axe right here and yeah as I'm reading it I just see a nice split right there if I hit it right there I'll be good well you know what actually I'm gonna go right there just like that see what happens all right off my mark a little bit I'm gonna try right there. I see another crack going this way. There we go. And just a few more splits. And this one right here. There. Perfect. When you split firewood, you want about the size of a CD or a DVD, about six inches in diameter. And this is definitely less than that. Let me just. Show you what we got here. Yeah, a little over five or so. That's gonna be good for burning and heating your house. And that's how it's done. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please give me a comment or a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. All right, you can even use a hatchet. This is kind of an oversized hatch right here with the tire, this piece of the silver maple. Boom. Boom. One, two, split this in two and then we're done. All right, that was bounce a little bit with that tire. That was a split one more time.